Hi guys, we're here to review the brand new Lego Jurassic World Dominion set, Pyraptor and Dilophosaurus Transport. Hi guys, uh, my name is Barry. Uh, this is my very first attempt at doing any of this, so if it uh, comes off a bit rubbish, I apologise for that. Um, I just follow a lot of people that like reviewing Lego. I love Lego, I love Jurassic Park, and I thought this is a combination just to kind of kickstart my very first video. Um, so just a quick thing about me. Jurassic Park has been my entire life since I was a little kid. Um, meeting uh, the man, the legend himself, Sam Neill, uh, at Comic-Con a few years ago was probably the highlight of my Jurassic Park following. Um, this also very high up there. When this set was announced, I was like, oh my God! And uh, rushed out to get it and built it ASAP. Um, Absolutely a stunning set, um, although I'm not too keen on the uh, actual T-Rex that came with it. I collect a number of bits and bobs. My wife lets me have this little man cave, a little bit of heaven. And uh, within it, I hold a treasure trove of little bits and bobs that uh, I call home. But enough about that. We are here to review the Lego Jurassic World sets. As you can see, I went a little bit crazy the other day. Well, not too crazy, only two sets, but uh, 155 pounds. Ugh. Anyway, let's see if uh, either of these two sets are worth it, shall we? So here it is, the Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus transport set. I picked this one up in Smith's toy shop yesterday. I was very excited, although the box it's quite small in comparison to some recent sets I've purchased. The set itself is based off of the new film coming out on June 10th, Jurassic World Dominion, which is the sixth film in the Jurassic franchise. Uh, it's going to be the culmination of all six movies. Um, and the reason I'm really excited is bringing back the classic characters from the original movies. Ian Malcolm and Ellie Sadler in this set, which is what made it appeal to me so much. Um, even with the price tag of $39.99 for only 254 pieces. I guess when we open it up, we'll see whether or not it was worth it. Uh, the box itself has got quite a cool design. The uh, amber kind of resonating around the outside is pretty cool. Um, it's even got the sizes of the dinosaurs on there. Um, I mean, size-wise though, it's, it doesn't seem that much bigger than my hand. And for £40, ugh. Um, and I think probably my biggest annoyance, as, as it is for a lot of Lego owners, oh, it's the cardboard, stick your finger in. No way of really salvaging that one. Oh. Yep. Right, let's empty it out, see what we have. Okay, we have the book. Standard, obviously. We've got some number bags, that's nice. We've got a three, a one, quite clearly a two. Okay, doesn't seem like a huge amount of pieces. Oh, and the dinosaurs are already in separate bags. Uh, oh, they don't appear to have jaws. Okay, so it's solid except for the jawline. Okay, and one set of stickers as well. Quick look in the back of the book. Just showing off a bunch of the other sets available in the range. And here are all the dinosaurs. The Giganotosaurus in the most expensive set. A Tyrannosaurus Rex there. Two variants of colours there. And the book itself just explaining stages 1, 2 and 3. Um, not really a lot to this set. We've only uh, 254 pieces. So here are the two dinosaurs from the set. We have the Pyroraptor here. I'm loving the vibrancy of the colours. Um, from the trailers, it's full of feathers. Uh, they've introduced dinosaurs into this new movie um, with feathers. They haven't done that for any of the franchise thus far. Um, I'm really digging it at the moment. And if you look at it, and the feathers, the blue, the blue feathers just coming off the arm and on the tail, really give it some some style. Um, from what I can tell, I think it's the same patterning from both sides, which is a little bit of a shame, but 
it's pretty awesome. I think my biggest disappointment, obviously, is not poseable. Um, two studs at the bottom for it to stand, and uh, one stud at the at the top if you wish to. I know have a, have someone ride it. Um, I'm guessing that's not going to be movie accurate though. The other dinosaur is the Dilophosaurus. Um, we haven't actually seen him in any Jurassic Park movie properly since the first one, uh, although it did appear as a hologram in Jurassic World. Um, the frill's pretty cool. Um, not as colourful as obviously in the movie, um, but it's nice that the teeth themselves are actually given a separate colour. Um, something lacking on the Pyroraptor. Um, the fact it's just all orange is a bit weird. The dinosaur does have a, a snap to its mouth, so it can be open or shut, but you just kind of got to open it like that. Um, it's okay. It's what you should imagine when it's spitting out its venom. Um, so you'd probably want the mouth open on this one. So, other than the dinosaurs, this is the reason that people are buying the set, the figures. So it comes with three in this set, the one exclusive to the set, which is going to be the major draw for it. So, here we have a generic guard, uh, no name, just a guard that's included in most of these Jurassic Park sets. Discardable person uh, on the back has the Jurassic World emblem on there, no printing on the legs or anything. Then we have Ian Malcolm, chest hair and all. Got grey hair this time, looking stunning, and Ellie Sadler as well. Again, brilliant on the torso, although the legs have nothing on them, unfortunately. As you can see from the back, all three have alternative faces, which is nice to be included. The guard looking angry. Uh, I'm guessing it's uh, Ian Malcolm and Ellie Sadler probably seeing the dinosaurs or making them escape, I assume. And uh, both Ian Malcolm and Ellie Sadler looking terrified. Uh, which is pretty useful for a dinosaur uh, dinosaur figure. So right here we have Ian Malcolm and Ian Malcolm. So here is the old Ian Malcolm on the left. This one is from the T-Rex Rampage set. This was the one that came with the massive gates and the big Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, very different from the, uh, the newer updated Ian Malcolm. Um, from the hairstyle. To begin with, uh, Ian Malcolm of, of New has uh, got the much older grey hairstyle, which I quite like. Um, he's also had his leg fixed. As you can see, the, uh, the one on the left had the far superior leg printing with, with, uh, with his damaged leg there. But um, he has learnt, 30 years on, to button his shirt up, bless him, if not the whole way. Um, unfortunately, he's still not transparent enough. Um, unfortunately, printing on black means it's a little bit uh, darker than you'd like it. But um, yes, it's a nice upgrade with that one. So here we have the two Eddie Saddlers. The one on the left is from the T-Rex Rampage set. And uh, on the right is the brand new one from this set that we're currently reviewing. The hairstyle is very different. Uh, one tied up, obviously, and one let flow. Um, again, the figure on the left has got nice printing all over the uh, bottom half of the figure, whilst the right has nothing. Um, I'm guessing that's the difference between a £220 set and a £40 set. I guess the uh, minifigures get less love. Um, the torso is still brilliant. Um, it's nice to have an updated character, but shame on the legs once again. So here it is, the Biosyn truck. You know what, now that I've finished making it, I actually quite like it. I didn't think I would but it's, it's quite bulky. Um, it's very wide. Um, as you can see, it's eight stud wide car, but with the tires as well, making it a really quite a sizable truck. Um, on the back, not only for play features, but the back does come down and there is a removable section. I'm now gonna fumble, there we go. I'm gonna guess it's some kind of satellite, I guess, for tracking the dinosaurs down. Um, the back of the box doesn't tell you anything about it. Uh, well, the front's got a strange construction um, here, I'm guessing that's just to uh, protect the windscreen. Uh, what I do like is kind of this easy release function here, um, that way you can get easy access to sit both figures and your little satellite into the back. So you've got the trailer to the rear, it's connected to a ball joint there, one easy attachment. The sides have folded down so that you can put the dinosaur on like so. 
the sides will nice and neatly come up and the little ramp at the back and there we are nice easy transport for the dinosaur so these are the spare pieces nothing particularly of value maybe the uh, syringe piece um, and that's the sticker sheet um, it was just free biosense uh, stickers uh, that were placed around the vehicle um, no prints but that's to be expected for, for uh, such a small set so there we have it the Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus transport set. So, what do I think? Uh, I'd have liked it to have been 30, to be quite honest with you. £40 seems quite a lot for what you get. Um, it's not many pieces, no, granted. Um, but it was somewhat satisfying to build something that was very block based. I know it sounds stupid with it being Lego, but sometimes it could be overcomplicated, a lot of uh, unique techniques and stuff. And it was just something something satisfying about putting the bricks together it's an age seven plus set um so it's kind of expected for it to be a simpler set um but there was just something really nice about all the pieces just clicking together without only having anything uh, over complicated um is it worth the money no however the selling point is going to be the dinosaurs and this little guy here. Ellie Sadler is available in one of the other sets, so it makes her less unique. However, the Ian Malcolm is going to be highly sought after, especially in the aftermarket. Um, and coming in a £40 set, I can only see its value going up eventually. Um, these guys are beautiful, it's just a shame they don't actually uh, pose. The Pyroraptor, especially uh, the unique colours. Um, and a scheme that we've not seen in any other previous dinosaur makes it uh, surely a sought after dinosaur. Um, I'm satisfied with it. I'm a sucker for this. It's it's Jurassic World. It's the legacy characters. I was going to buy it regardless of the price, and I think they know that. Hence why it's got the forty pound price tag. Um, but I feel feel satisfied. I don't feel cheated too much. Um, but maybe thirty quid would have been nice. Right, so uh, that was my first review. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too awkward. Um, it's the very first time I've tried anything like that. Um, I thought I'd give it a go. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, maybe uh, give it a like or a, or a share or whatever. Um, I know it's a bit weird. Maybe subscribe. I don't know. Um, I'm going to do some more, hopefully, if you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm also going to Disney World, hopefully, oh my God, hopefully, uh, in the summer. Third summer, we're going to try. Um, I'm a big Disney fan um, and hopefully I'll get some good footage uh, going out there so that'll be worth uh, worth doing um, but hopefully if you guys like this I will review this bad boy next um, let me let me know guys um, I guess I should sign off uh, everyone has a unique sign off uh, so what can mine be I suppose um, I guess if you don't see me again it's because it didn't go well.